ladies, if you can't take care of another woman's child, don't marry their dad. I repeat, do not marry their dad. Gentlemen, if you won't take care of another man's child, don't marry their mom. Do not marry their mother. Your so-called relationship can wait. Kids need love to thrive. Blending families requires a sensible team, a patient team, a compassionate team. It requires mutual support. Becoming a parent means assuming a sacred responsibility to care for, protect, equip children until they are able to take care of themselves. If you are not ready to embrace your stepchildren fully, be invested in them in your role as their caregiver, which means helping to create a functional cooperative structure for raising them, then find a childless partner. Banji no, these kids' needs always surpass your needs. Your stepchildren's needs surpass your needs. If the thoughts of taking care of another person's DNA agitates you, this is going to internalize into resentment, jealousy, and even as hostility towards the innocent child. Remember, stepchildren didn't wish for the circumstances they found themselves in or get to choose their parents. If you can't do right by them, please don't date their parents. Date women or men who have no children. Simple. It's not by force. The cruelty towards stepchildren needs to end. The stories we see out there are very disheartening. You know, couples often forget that these kids' parents aren't together anymore and they are grieving in their own way. And grieving is powerful, eh? You don't know how they're going to react and maybe they'll project a certain way on you that really has nothing to do with you. They sometimes have been traumatized by the breakup. They are going through a lot. It's very important to be sure you can handle this. If not, let these people find peace with their children in the hands of a good man or a good woman or a person who can love and accept these stepchildren. Because when you marry someone with children, you're signing up for a lifetime commitment, not just to your spouse, but also to the stepkids. I won't lie, being a step parent isn't even a little bit easy. It can push you to the brink. If you're new to motherhood, hmm, you need to brace yourself for the impact. Nobody tells you how tough the duties get. The feelings of anger, resentment, jealousy, I mean, that's why you need to be sure before you commit. Many people don't really know what they're getting themselves into when they pull the trigger on becoming a step parent. Sure, they know they're getting a package deal with their partner, their kids, and in many ways, their partner's ex. But what you don't get is a rule book or a roadmap, or even one of those what to expect books that you can buy to get insights on, you know, what to expect when you start feeling stepmom burnout. Or what to expect when your stepkid starts to call you mom or dad. Or what to expect when you are expecting and the ex becomes high conflict. Many of the people dive in headfirst into the giant pool of step motherhood or step fatherhood and do not stop to set proper expectations of themselves and the role they will play as step parents in the family. The most important thing you need to do or to decide before you become a step parent is what exactly that looks like in your home or what that looks like in your mind. Have the expectations conversations. Do not start imagining things. Please set boundaries and stick to them. Blending families requires adjustments for everyone, not just one person or the other. The whole family must relearn to interact, socialize while discovering where they fit in the overall situation. Families have growing pains and the trip to becoming a perfectly balanced blending family is rough. The bonds that are created afterward though are worth it if you really give it a try. And I'll, I'll end this by saying hats off 
to the men and women who made the choice to raise kids who aren't theirs. It takes someone really brave, someone strong, to raise and love a child they did not make. A good step parent can literally turn the life of a child around. I really hope to see many of those. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.